Hi, my name is Rebel, and I am the Rebel Reseller. I have been an eBay seller for 22 years, and this is my first blog. I currently live in the beautiful mountains of East Tennessee. I am a mom, a stepmom, a mamma, which is southern for grandma, a Navy veteran, and a former special education teacher. Behind the camera right now, making faces at me, is my husband, Robert. There he is. <laughs> and he's gonna try to help me get through this first video. Flip it around. I have notes. Like I said, I've been selling on eBay for 22 years. Um, and I sell mostly toys specifically stuffed animals. I have almost from the beginning focused on stuffed animals. I moved here to the current house that we live at in 2011 and at that time I only brought about a thousand items that were listed with me. Um, I was working full-time and in 2013 we decided um, that I was going to stay home and we were going to homeschool our kids and focus on eBay as our as a full-time reseller again. Um, we also were doing Amazon for four or five years, replenishable items, and last year we decided to just focus on eBay and cross-listing to other platforms. Last year I first started with Bonanza, which is pretty easy, um, and you don't have to do much with that. And then I started on Mercari, Etsy, and Poshmark. A um, couple of months into cross-listing, I decided not to sell on Etsy and Poshmark anymore. But at the end of the year, we started um, cross-listing to Facebook Marketplace. And that, I think, has become quite successful for us. Um, it just seems a lot of the items that I sell don't sell on eBay that have been listed for a while. When I cross-list them to Facebook, they sell almost immediately. So I'm going to be doing a whole lot of cross-listing there instead of the other platforms. But eBay is always going to be my first love and the thing that I focus the most on. Everything starts on eBay. I currently have about 7,000 items listed. Um, and we are currently in the building that I store them in. And believe it or not, almost 5,000 of them are stuffed animals. Just to give a little bit of credibility to... Um, why a person would want to sell stuffed animals. Um, last year I did make six figures. Um, and that's not including the things that I made on Mercari and Facebook. Um, the building that we're in, when I moved to this house, we had this building built for storage. It is a 30 by 50 building. Um, and then last year I outgrew my basement that was where I was storing everything and we converted 20 by 30 of the building into storage for eBay. Um, we had the building insulated and I put in a mini split heat pump. Um, right now I have about 25 shelving units. I'm going to give you a brief tour of the building and how I have everything set up and that way you can really see how much space it takes to sell this many stuffed animals. Now I don't only sell stuffed animals, I do sell vintage Christmas, um, some small appliance vintage stuff, um, music, games, but in very small quantities. It's uh, My husband has started sourcing with me so that I'm not so tunnel visioned only on stuffed animals. So we've been picking other things and we're going to start selling clothes, but we haven't started anything with that yet. Um, these, this shel shelving unit is my new favorite thing to buy as far as for storage. We got them at Sam's. They're very nice, but they are very tall. So if you notice in every uh, aisle of my storage area. I've got a ladder or a step stool because I am only five feet tall and it gets 
uh, scary to get up into some of these top boxes or totes. Also another thing to point out, I use a lot of open totes and laundry baskets to store my stuff in. Um, but in order to keep stuff dust free and clean, I do bag everything I sell in clear bags. Um, games, stuffed animals, everything are in clear bags. Um, I started out, uh, let me find something, using large bags like these to store my stuffed animals in. But a couple of months ago, I decided to start using poly bags. And that way, um, when an item sells, I can just slip it straight into a poly bag or a box, however I'm shipping it. Um, in general, everything is nice noise. Um, everything is, uh, I have, each bin is numbered. And I'll explain that in a second. But I also keep everything still in categories. When I only had a thousand items, I kept all the bears together, all the dogs together, all the baby items together. And I kind of have kept with that because if my custom SKU and inventory system fails me, um, I can still try to find it in a general area because I think I would lose my mind if I had to search every bin for something. So like in this first area here, this is mostly wild animals. Um, I do have some ball caps. Uh, on this side, I have some homeschool books and other books that I sell. And then I have rabbits and monkeys, some cups and mugs and stuff I store down there. Um, if you notice, I have a, a little small area the way we set these up. And I used to have all of these in bins, the kind that you have pull drawer systems. And I realized they fit perfectly or well enough in this center section. And that way I can still keep things organized and stuff not falling off the shelves. So that's been a nice added benefit. And I just throw the, the bins away. I just realized I said I had 25 uh, shelving units out here. I actually think I have about 29, but when we moved things from the basement to out here, I didn't change the numbers on the shelves, but I did leave a few over in the basement. So you'll notice this shelf says 32, but I think I only have about 29. Now to explain how I do my inventory. Um, if you notice this shelf is marked number 32. So this is shelving unit 32, and then I number each shelf. That's shelf one, two, three. I call this half, just forget about it, four and five. So when I put an item away, like this is wild animals, if I put a wild animal in here, I put the custom SKU 323B. Three, three, that means we're on shelving unit number 32, the third shelf or row B basket. Each basket is alphabetized. Some shelves I have two, some shelves I have three. So there'll be an A, B, and C. Um, and that way when I go to do find stuff after it's sold, I know exactly where it is. Um, and then also when we do our inventory, we're able to pull out a printout that says that everything that should be in 323B will be on that list and I can inventory it. I try to do annual inventories. I haven't finished yet for this year. I want to show how the custom label looks in my eBay listings. In the shop, we were looking at shelving unit 32. These are some of the items from there and you can see the custom label on the right. The first item is from shelving unit 32, shelf three, basket A. If you notice on the third item, I have added an M to the custom label. This means that it is cross-listed on Mercari. That lets me know when it sells, I need to remove it from eBay or Mercari. You'll also see an F on the fourth item. This is for Facebook. So, let's go this way again. 
Here's my ladder because I'm very short by feet. I try to keep a lot of the larger plush on top. Um, and then some breakable stuff is up there also. That way, I, you know, it's not getting smushed by other things. And I only put breakables together with other breakables. So a lot of the stuff I have here is, this is all my Christmas stuff and plush. I have a little bit more over here because it's growing. Um, I have a toe here that's just reptiles, some more rabbits. As I grow and I outgrow the baskets that they're in, I make new baskets, but I still keep it to the categories. When you get back, a lot of times, um, if an item is larger than it's going to fit in a priority large box, I do pre-box. So I have a shelf up in the front of the building, but also I start making piles when I can um, of things that have listed are larger than a priority box, or there's a lot of them and I just pre-box. That way I have accurate weights and dimensions, and there's no um, surprises when I go to ship. All right. We'll go this way. I have, this is the back wall. A lot of this um, is bears um, and wild animals. Much of the larger plush. Um, and then this way, I do sell a lot of small hard toys. Um, and I try to keep them like this is just general Duplos stuff that are not characters. These are small bags of characters. Um, larger toys like Fisher Price, little tykes, but everything stays in its general area. Um, I do have some growing room still, but I think what I'm going to end up doing is start to get larger totes to put on the top shelves. That way I can use more of the up space. Um, more uh, more categories i have all my puppets here small character toys here more um like people plush care bears um farm animals um this is my wall of pre-packaged boxes um and then this was this weekend's haul that my basement is where I normally keep it, but I had such an amazing weekend. We had to bring it out here, and I will hopefully get a chance to show you some of the things I bought, why I bought it, um, how much I think I'll make on it. Um, but I'll do that in a later time. And then this is the third row of plush. These are all my babies. Um, there's some lovies down in here. Lovies, all those slow sellers, um, I still like to buy them. People are always looking for replacements. Um, these are all my dogs, more dogs, uh, puzzles, more hard toys. I like to sell Fisher Price um, Little People and Dollhouse stuff, but I have found that they sell amazingly well. On Facebook Marketplace and um, I sell them pretty much as quickly as I list them. Uh, here's more bears. Um, this is my hard goods stuff like kitchen items, vintage stuff, cake pans, um, just a lot of those types of items. And then I'm into character toys. And I try to keep like all the Lion Kings in a room together. A lot of these are Disney. Uh, Mickey Mouse, Sesame Street, Snoopy. And then these are dolls. Except for here. This is Kohl's. Um, and that way, as I uh, sell stuff, I know exactly where they are. Oh, for those of you wondering... Our lights are on uh, sensors, but up there is the heat pump that we had installed. It's a Mr. Cool 
Um, we got it on Amazon. We had it. Uh, we had to have electrical lines ran for it, but it's an amazing unit. And if you have an outdoor building that you're considering um, installing something like this, it's relatively inexpensive. I think I pay about forty dollars a month to heat and cool out here and run the lights when I'm out here. Again, this is just my storage area though. I come out here to pull in the morning and then I bring my stuff out here that I've processed for the day to put away. I thought I'd give you guys a snippet of my work area. This is the basement where I used to store everything. Um, I tried to get organized at the beginning of the year. I bought more shelving. Um, this is all my unlisted inventory. Um, a lot of this that's here in the front on the floor has recently been purchased and it's here because it needs sorted, cleaned, something. But a lot of that stuff back there, I just need to find time. Um, if you notice, there's not a whole lot of plush. I like to list the plush. The rest of this stuff um, is more tedious, I think. Um, but I'll get to it eventually. I am pretty much a one-person show as far as the, the listing, picturing, um, processing. My husband has volunteered or been volunteered to be my cleaner. So I take tons of stuff upstairs that he can clean for me um, and then bring it back downstairs for me to process. Um, this is a small disaster right now though because I've been doing a whole lot of sourcing. Um, I do have a second cube set up over here. My son likes to help me every once in a while and I'll make piles for him there. But we just bought a new one of those uh, rack systems to hold, what is it, the, 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 the cloth to take pictures that way. I think I'm going to set that up over there in the next couple of days. Um, over here, which uh, is where I currently work, um, I just have been using my light system this way, but as you can tell, I'm needing a larger space, so that's why we bought the new rack system, and I'm going to set up a larger area um, to take pictures. I have it up high like this because I have a bad back and it just helps me to be able to take pictures up higher um, and that's worked well for me. Um, this is the, the what happens when you're a reseller. This is my current laptop. I went to get a box off the top shelf and when I was working with it upstairs and a box hit that. So um, it's been like that for four or five years and it still is working fine. I just have a monitor set up, um, but it's very messy. I'm embarrassed, but this is, it is what it is. Um, I also do all my shipping here, so I have tons of boxes. I decided last year I was tired of hunting for boxes all the time, so I pretty much buy tons of boxes and bubble mailers. I hope you've learned something from me today. I will be starting to do some hauls and what sold videos for you. Um, so if you're interested in this type of information, please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, this is my first one. I've been very nervous this whole time. Hopefully it'll get easier as I do more things. Um, thank you for spending your time with me.